in this example, we're going to look at a practical example, a real world usage of the Nexus staging suite. Specifically, we're going to look at open source repository hosting, which is a Nexus instance Sonotype is running and it is acting as an input funnel to the central repository, which as you probably know, is the largest component repository for Java and JVM based components out there on the internet also used and known as the Maven Central Repository. The documentation for this repository is at central.sonotype.org and this documentation includes what kind of criteria your project has to fulfill and that's going to uh, help us later to determine if there's anything wrong. We can look at that and we can make sure our build fulfills those criteria. The project we're specifically looking at is the Android Maven plugin that is available on GitHub right here. And we are going to look at that as an example. I have already set this up in my Eclipse instance here as a project. And in order to test the deployment, I need to make sure it is a release version. So I'm just changing the snapshot version here to a release version. You will see we can do a deployment run without it actually going live to the central repository because the staging suite will verify the quality and uh, fail it. So let's actually do a first run of a build. Here in Eclipse, I have a run configuration for my Android Maven plugin project and I'm running clean deploy here and I can simply kick this off with run. The build now finished and in fact, something went wrong and it failed. So let's check out what went wrong. Further up here, we can see that the Nexus staging Maven plugin performed a match against the staging profile in Nexus in the open source repository hosting Nexus instance and created a staging repository ID with an identifier right here and uploaded everything into it. It then also kicked off the closing of the staging repository, which in turn kicked off a bunch of staging rules to be evaluated and we uh, got a failure for a missing signature. So we need to now investigate why we have a missing signature and how the Android Maven plugin build creates that signature. If we look at the palm here and I look for GPG, I can see that the Maven GPG plugin is used to perform this signature. And if I look up a little bit further, I can however also see that this configuration to execute the GPG plugin is embedded in, an, in a profile official release, which we didn't yet use. You see how I've added official release to my build configuration and I can now kick off another build and see if that succeeds. Now that the build succeeded, I can uh, inspect my artifacts in the staging repository that was created and closed successfully in Nexus running on OSSRH. I now logged into Nexus running on OSSRH and I can inspect the staging repository that was created. Go to staging repositories and on the very bottom there is a closed staging repository and if I make this list larger, I can see the activity that happened as part of the closing and there were a whole bunch of rules validated. So sources was validated that there it's there, Javadoc is there, checksum was validated and a whole bunch of validation on the palm was happening. If any of those criteria would have not been fulfilled, the closing of the repository would have failed. However, it did succeed and email notification was sent and the repository was successfully closed and I can actually look at the content here. And we will see that the Java doc and sources chars as well as the char itself for the project and the palm, all the artifacts are here and it's ready to be released. In this instance, I don't wanna actually do that because we still need to do some more improvements before we release the version 4.0. So I'm just going to say drop and say, this was just a test and we can go back to more development. 
the details on how this is all set up in the project you can inspect in further in the palm of this project and also the central repository documentation here in how to publish your project contains on the one hand the requirements as well as how to deploy with for example Apache Maven here and the different things you need to set up so distribution management how you set up the staging plugin and your authentication uh, for your upload as well as things like Javadoc and sources being created or the artifacts being signed with the GPG plugin and how to work with everything and um, so you have the documentation as well as a sample and with using Nexus Professional in your organization hosted by yourself you can do the same thing so you can force um, your release builds to contain Java Doc and sources so that for example one team in your organization that publish a component that is used by other teams can be used transparently by these other teams including Javadoc and sources automatically being downloaded into the IDE and being available for their development purposes be that just looking up a method definition or something like that or having code completion or also more importantly um, being able to debug into that code of the other component and therefore enabling collaborative development on a, a very good platform with Nexus. <laughs>